Welcome to the Raiders off-season series. This will be the final edition of this video series. It's Heidi Fang here, your Vegas Nation podcast host, and Sam Gordon, our Raiders writer. Sam, how you doing today? Doing good, Heidi. It's a new league year starts uh, in a, very soon. I The off-season is flying by. I cannot believe it. Draft next month, but let's get to it. I'm excited to be back. Is there any particular player that you think can really make an impact coming into this Raiders team in 2021? The name um, I, I like... To, to, to make an impact right away is John Johnson, right? He's a safety, the Rams safety. He was one of the three highest rated, graded players at that position, the pro football focus. And I think he, he would provide a great deal of balance to what the Raiders want to do, right? He, he's excelled in coverage and he also can make plays around the line of scrimmage. He had 105 tackles in 2020. He had 119 tackles two years ago in 2018. He played 16 games, 2018, 16 games in 2020. He was, he only missed 10 games in 2019. So the production was a little bit down, but he's been a guy who, since the time he walked in the NFL with the, with the Rams uh, has been a starter. He, he's only 25 years old. So he's young, but he has experience at the same time. He's part of that Super Bowl team, that team that made the run in the Super Bowl and, and has been a big play kind of guy in that secondary for the last four years. What do you do about the O-line? Because when you look at what happened in uh, the off season here, are they going to look to draft or are they going to look to fill this in free agency as well? Well, there are going to be some options in free agency, and I expect the Raiders to, to kind of scan the open market and see who they can plug in on that offensive line. There's going to be some opportunities for guys on the roster to maybe earn a starting job. You look at a Lester Cotton or an Andre James, uh, young guys on the roster, or a John Simpson, whom they drafted last year out of Clemson, to possibly develop into a starter. And then you have the NFL draft, where you see teams all the time find starting offensive linemen. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the first round. Second, third, fourth rounds, you see it all the time. And I am of the philosophy that you can never have too much depth or too much, too many quality players on the offensive line. So I expect them to, to, to scan the free agency, maybe find a veteran to give the young players an opportunity to compete for a starting job and to address filling out that depth in the draft. Right now, as it stands, the Raiders are going to have a new offensive line. And, and as we know, that's, I think, one of the most important units in all of football. And it's something the Raiders need to address. Another thing that the Raiders need to address in the coming season is getting over that hump where they were six and three, and then it all went downhill. That's happened twice in the past two seasons, Sam. So what do you think this team does in the coming year to get over that hump that they haven't been able to break and maybe get this team to the playoffs for the first time and, you know, quite a quite a long time it's been for the Raiders I want to see what this coaching staff how could how this coaching staff develops young players on the roster do Henry Ruggs and Brian Edwards improve and become reliable down and down receivers that are difference makers does Hunter Renfro continue to settle in and be that slot receiver that he's been the past couple of years does he have another gear how about on the, in the, the, the defensive backfield in your secondary where you have young guys like Jonathan Abram Trayvon Mullen Damon Arnett Keyshawn Nixon Amik Robertson Isaiah Johnson like do those guys take another step do the young players on the defensive line, does Cleveland Farrell have another gear to get to? Is Gus Bradley's system and, and is his coaching staff going to help get these young guys to the next level as they enter years two and three of their respective careers? I, I think there's obviously a, a lot of draft capital invested in young players, and I think their, their, their development in them is crucial to the long-term trajectory of this team. So they need the young players to improve. I think they need to hit on draft picks, and they need to um, really – execute down the stretch like the way that they have in the last couple of seasons there's already talent on the roster you have solidified quarterback in Derek Carr you have a Darren Waller you have playmakers all over the field you have talented players on defense even though the unit didn't put it together and you have a coach and staff in place that has a track record for player development time to put it to the test and get more out of these young players as they continue into their mid-20s and, and really develop into, into NFL probably. Well, last thing, Sam, I want you to talk a little bit about one of those players, somebody that you're writing on coming up here with the review journal. And I would like to ask you, uh, what will that piece be about? We had a chance, Heidi, to check in with Jonathan Abram and Keyshawn Nixon and see what those guys are doing, both of them in town here in Vegas. And, and Jonathan Abram really um, talked with me about how his goal this past year was, was to get through the season. You know, he missed his, almost his entire first year with that injury. And he was able to be on the field for most of the season last year and really get a taste of the NFL game and, and what he needs to do obviously now there's a big focus on improvement and I will touch on that um, coming up here in the Las Vegas Review Journal it was nice to to see what kind of work he's putting in this offseason and get a real get a real feel about how he's approaching 
his third NFL year. Appreciate you having me also do the video work on that piece. So I'll be doing a lot of editing for you guys. You'll see that all out on VegasNation.com, LVRJ.com as well. Check it out in print once it's out there as well by Sam Gordon and follow Sam on Twitter at by Sam Gordon. And I am at Heidi Fang. Everyone, thank you so much for checking in with us. And before I leave, a quick tease. The next video series that we're doing for the Raiders will be the draft series. Adam Hill will join me in covering everything that has to do with the draft, top picks, who the Raiders might look at, and how that will impact their 2021 season. So make sure to keep up with everything we're doing by hitting subscribe wherever you're listening, if you're on the podcast end, and also on the YouTube channel and checking in regularly on VegasNation.com. For Sam Gordon, I'm Heidi Fang. Thank you so much for watching.